Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. All right, so we have some things to do. Well, we always have things to do, but uh, let's take a look at our current series. So we've got we've got Vang here consuming a simple meal, not at a table because he's an idiot. We've got Mal, who's much smarter and uh, probably more handsome. Digging at compacted steel, which is exactly what we want him to be doing. We also want him to dig out this as well, uh, because we can't put any wire through there, which kind of makes sense. Um, but we want to get the wire down here, because we want to actually, now that we have this, we want to start making use of it. Uh, but before I do that, I should probably contemplate here. Christina's sleeping, and Sly is cooking. That's good. So we're, uh, we've got lots of meat, and we've got, what is this? Oh yeah, hay. So that's what that looks like. I don't think I've ever had hay before, so... Um, that's kind of cool. This whole, uh, these alpacas and getting wool and stuff is not something I've ever done before, so I'm kind of excited to see how that'll pan out. If we get uh, a decent amount of wool before next winter, for example, we could uh, potentially make some really nice, uh, thick coats for people so that they stay toasty, which is good. Uh, we've got lots of steel. What was it? What was I looking for, though? Oh yeah, rice. So we got lots of rice. That's good. Um, rice is not the most nutritious thing ever. It's pretty lightweight, but uh, it grows fast. And uh, while we're waiting for these potatoes and such to grow, uh, it'll it'll do. It'll do. And then we also have a lot of hay grass here, which I'm hoping we'll be able to grow uh, in time for these guys to eat it. Uh, but if we don't, you know, we've got this this backup uh, backup hay here. We're also working on our first assault rifle, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And we also want to figure out where we're going to put batteries here. So, maybe we'll do that. So if I put a battery here... I think I'll start out with like two batteries. And then we'll connect this down to here. Is that how we want to do this? Yeah. And then we'll connect this down to here. And these guys and all that sort of fun stuff, so... Mal, you... You left one. You left one. Uh, oh, you're going back to it. Alright. Good for you. Cool. Alright, so we, uh, uh... You know, I am feeling the, uh... The pressure a little bit with being down one colonist. Having five was really nice and I got used to it and things were getting done and things are still getting done just you know at a slightly less uh well, a slightly slower pace than I'd like but um it'll happen. Esme's never gonna join. It's just a thing now. It's just a me holding her hostage now out of spite more than anything. And, uh, you know, kind of just waiting. If I ever got another colonist, you know, somebody I could rescue from raiders, for example, or, you know, somebody just randomly wandering around. Maybe a drop pod? You know, I haven't seen one of those. Somebody crashing in and I could rescue them and they would have amazing stats and we could be friends. And Yeah, but that's probably not going to happen. So we'll make do with what we have. Uh, one of the things I do want to start thinking about is the turret situation uh, having turrets will help a lot and i do want to make sure that we don't get i, I don't want a repeat of the last raid essentially and we probably won't because i i made a huge mistake in that raid and that led to cell's death but uh something i won't make again however the raids aren't going to get easier so um as safe as we can make the situation uh, I'd like to focus on that and I, what I might do is just start out with one or two turrets you know on each side here and then uh, see how that works this area here is kind of a little weird because because of this I almost feel like maybe this was a mistake like I should have put a wall I might wall this up here and then because, you know, raids tend to come from this area. Or at least the last raid did. And then they come up and around here, and I think they like to go all the way around, which is cool, but, um... 
this kind of this wall here I think needs to be completed so that when they come up around here we'll, we'll start shooting them all right did he get that he was working on it but he didn't finish it that's what are you doing all right well when you're done with that I need you to finish that marble you probably will all right maybe Cloud watching you are oh Sly got it. <laughs> All right, that works for me. All right, so power conduit here and here and then here and then here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we are gonna need a switch actually at some point. So I also want to let's actually do orders. We'll get rid of these since we're kind of. Playing it by ear here, just doing what, what looks what looks good here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's also put a power switch in. Where do we want to put this power switch? I think I want it closer to the base. So let's go ahead and put it mm, here. And let's make sure that this area is roofed, and it is. So... I think that's fine. In fact, I might just do all of that as a roof. Why not? So now we have, uh, let's see, connected ray. Oh yeah, it's getting, it's getting tons. These should fill up pretty quickly. One colonist is idle. What are you doing, Mal? Well, we don't really have a whole lot going on here, do we? Okay, let's. Let's plan this out because, well, let's actually see what we need to do here. Did I change this yet? No, Vang's still living down there. So let's put Vang up here. Let's also turn this off. And this is fine. We'll, maybe we'll turn this on, actually. Uh, that's fine. So let's make this Vang. Oops, there we go. And this will become... Mal's, I think Mal's sleeping there, yes. Yeah, so let's put Mal over here. Perfect. And then we can start tearing this down. Yeah. Uh, actually, what I might do here is I might get rid of all of this. I'm going to leave this here. But I'm gonna get rid of all of this because we want to replace this with granite. And now is the time to do it. That's gotta go. That can actually stay. I'm gonna have to rebuild that and then we'll kinda do do what we do. So he doesn't he also doesn't have uh, any mining projects either, so that's probably another thing I can take care of. All right, back to work. Okay. Perfect. Now, is this a good bed? This is a good bed. So we definitely want to make use of that. Uh, what I will do here now is... Let's see, I think it was this. Yes. This, and this, yeah, that's perfect. And then this is all set up, this is all set up, so we just need that and this. Perfect. And then we'll move this up one and reassign that to somebody else. And this, I think, not that. Uh, let's move this down, oops, one notch. And we'll put a door here. Brilliant. Nobody is fixing these. I do not understand why. Did I... Was that already on? I bet that was on and I turned it off. I will actually leave that on. Whoops. Okay, so these are gonna get mined. This is all set up. Uh... 
I'm guessing... Hmm. Yeah. These are all at, what? Yeah, efficiency 50%. I'm not sure what that means either. Uh, bear. Where's that bear? Did he leave? No, he's down here. Shoot. Eh, I don't like that. Uh, how's the meat situation? The meat's in a decent spot. Let's see if, you know, while the temperature's good, appropriate for it, uh, I definitely would do want to hunt as much as possible. And let's make sure that we're still at zero degrees here. This is another project that we'll have to tackle, which is expanding this out. Man, this is like the compacted steel vein that keeps on giving. It's beautiful. Okay, how are we doing on components? We are down to five. Yeah, we sure are. I kind of figured we'd burn through them pretty, pretty quickly. All right, so let's mine that. Let's also mine this and see what that gets us. We also have, I believe, I don't think we have any more. Did somebody bail that? Interesting. I don't think we have any more ship chunks, unless I didn't get one that I, I think we're, yeah, I think we're all out of ship chunks. Oh no, there's one. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. It's a ways out there, but I mean, it's generally worth it. Wild boar. Oh, you know what's going to happen? This is going to get stuck out there. As soon as you're done with that, I need you to haul the wood. Perfect. I don't want to get wood stuck in, in between there. Alright, what is this? A dry thunderstorm, of course. They're always dry. I mean, what other kind of thunderstorm would there be? It's silly. Alright, let's get rid of this. I do not need it anymore. If you lock yourself out here, I will not be a happy person. Oh my god, that's exactly what you're gonna do, isn't it? <laughs> what a knucklehead. Uh, calling us AI sometimes. Alright, no fires, please. Yeah, it's fine. It's down there. Oh, we have a lot of steel here, don't we? Yeah, we do. We don't need a ton of steel yet. It's the components, really, that we need. Cool. So you guys should be super happy now, because you've got so much food, you don't even know what to do with it all. Mm, this is off, so this should just be filling. That's good. Steel. Once the mining projects closer to the base are done, I'd wager they'll go out and get that compacted uh, machinery. But, oh, wow. Look at that. Got some Ibex here. I'm quite happy about that. Because we can kill it and eat it. I do enjoy killing and eating. Okay. I should also be on the lookout for... Uh, not llamas. Why do I keep calling them that? Alpacas. Like this one? No, oh, it's a female. I want a male so that I can breed them. Uh, lots of turkey. Not a lack of a lot in the... Wow, that is a lot of deer. Holy cow. An emu. No alpaca. Huh. Oh, except for the one. I don't know. Do I... Do I have enough hay to have three? Because that's just more wool, and I am down with as much wool as I could possibly get. You know, I'm going to do it. We need some more taming uh, experience anyways, so that we can start taming some of the more dangerous stuff. I'd love to get that wolf. I don't think it's... I have no idea what's going to happen to it. Uh, let's see. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, trainable, yeah, it's very trainable, which is nice. 
I don't know if it tells you how hard it is to tame here, though. Minimum handling skill 6. That's actually not bad, because I believe Sly... Uh, character... He has a 9, so that's, that's good. Is he... Yeah, he's going up there. Watch him just totally one-shot this. That's right. That's right. There you go. Fail. 22% chance. Seems low. For an alpaca? Eh, Alright, fine. Mal, what's eating you? What's got you down? Your friend died, I know. Ate without a table, because you're an idiot. I think we've already established that fact. We've got an awful bedroom, but Mal... Your bedroom's awesome! How can you say that? Well, we do need to clean it, but... Who's in here? Nobody. Good, because there's no floor and there's a bunch of crap on the floor. Uh, let's see, wood. Wood, wood, wood. There we go. Uh, okay. Hey, that worked out rather well. This is the good bed, right? Yeah. Who am I gonna put in here? Oh, shoot. And I'm dumb. Oh, man. There we go. No, it's not a big deal, but... How close are we to finishing this? Work left 133. Pretty close. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm happy about that. Okay. And, yeah. We're... Oh, did we already get both of those? Wait, did you... Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. Put you on the menu as well. Please. And thank you. Alright, how's the wall coming along here? 49%, 55%. I'm assuming harvesting wool is uh, handling, animal handling, so Slash should probably do that when the time comes, I hope. We're actually getting some corn now, too, which is good. It's a little bit more nutritious. Okay. Um, hmm. Christina's not doing so hot, either. Although, she will be now that she's in an night owl. Ugly environment. Hmm. Is it because of the cleaning situation? I bet it is. Let's go ahead and... I think we're caught up on hauling now, so I'll let her uh, resume what other other activities, including cleaning. This is on and it's set to 21. Okay, that's fine. So all these heaters should be off now. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and this. But uh, we might need to... We actually haven't done this yet. We need to install a cooler in here. Definitely need to do that. Can I do that, though? I don't know if I can do this. Can I do it, like, here? Oops, wrong way. Like, even though it's there's a bench here, is that fine? Because that's ideally what I'd like to do. And I'd like to have it close to the middle here. So let's try right here. See how that works. Uh, did we get any of that compacted machinery yet? Nope. Not yet. Did we get... Oh. Shoot. We did get this, but nobody... <laughs> Whoever went out there, I should have paid attention to that. Christina, what are you doing? Deconstructing marble wall. That's a admirable goal, but I really need you to actually haul this instead. That's probably going to take you all night, which is kind of a bummer, but that's alright. We'll live. It's getting to be close to daytime here, so... If I can get Vang to focus on uh, finishing that off, that'd be nice. Okay, so he's actually going to take care of that. That's fine. Got 22 meals. That's good. Uh, when is the spoils in two days? Mm -hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's mine this out. Uh, everyone is set to haul, right? Okay, good. I'll go ahead and add some more to the pile here. We're actually starting to fill these out, which is nice. That's what I wanted. Yep, as I anticipated. Uh, 
Okay, and this is on now, so these guys should be fine. Perfect. Christina's back to cleaning. Thank you. I appreciate it. The colony appreciates your efforts. I'll go ahead and mine this out. I think I kept it there to prevent collapsing, but I don't think we have to worry about that now. There's no roof here. Okay. Uh, as far as mining goes, I think we're pretty in pretty good shape here. We've got this set up. These are super full, so that's good. Everything's full. It's great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off then and see how, how well this works. What I might do is install a switch here. In fact, I will do that. And then, does this require components? Man. And then I can switch these around. Uh, I can actually, instead of having this be my primary source of power, I can use this. What just happened? Oh, you separated. Oh, man. Who, who, who did that? And who was... Yeah, come on, man. Well, we have a job half finished. There we go. That's not really that big of a deal, but if I wanted to min-max that, I could have uh, let this auxiliary stuff, or kicked in another power source here. But like I said, not a big deal. Cool. Okay, look at all the kibble we have. Uh, and look at all the food we have, more importantly. I want to get this... Uh, I think what we might do next is increase the size of the freezer. How do I want to do that, though? How indeed. So, I want to... Hmm, having this in the middle is not my greatest... Well, I don't know. I don't want to do this. This is something I'm going to have to think about because I need more space here because I want to really just plow as much of these uh, of the field here and get all the crops. Uh, ideally, we should have closer to a thousand in, as far as uh, vegetable matter goes. And then, um, you know, that means we're going to need a much larger freezer. There's also another thing that I wanted to do, which is separate this out um, so that the uh, meals are closer to the door and only meals, and then the rest of the food for cooking is kind of down here. But I'll have to think about this because I don't know, I was originally just going to expand this out, but I might actually have to redesign this all together. So, we'll think about that, but we're actually catching up on all of our projects here. Except for repairing. We are definitely not repairing anything. Alright, I gotta figure out what's going on here. Like, this is all home area. Oh, that's not home area, that's why that didn't get repaired. What else is not getting repaired? this. Wow, we finally got somebody. That's amazing. Exotic goods. All right. Good, good. Finally. Do some trading. Maybe they'll have something interesting for me. Quite happy about that. Uh, let's see. That's a funny name. Rod Odd Theod. Interesting. Cool. We'll see what they have. I think Mal's the guy that's going to need to talk to him, which kind of sucks because that means I'm going to have to wake him up. He doesn't like being woken up like that. I understand, but it's a thing that has to happen. Let's also move this here. And who needs it more? I think Mal needs it more. Vang's in a decent mood. Mal should probably not have them next to each other anyways. Because they're just unpleasant to be together. Ooh, wait a minute. That is... Oh, and it's a normal one. That's very good. That is very, very good. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. So you've got that. You've got the shotgun. I think I'm going to swap that out because the shotgun is really poor. 
You've got the machine gun, which is in decent shape, and then you've got grenades, obviously, so let's have Mal pick it up at some point here. When these guys... When I try to give him as much sleep as possible. In fact, how is the sleep going? Pretty good, he could wake up now, wouldn't be a big deal. I was kind of hoping he'd wake up naturally. I think he kind of wakes up a little bit later, though, typically, so... Alright, I'm gonna have you equip this. Out of bed. 5 a.m. is definitely time for you to wake up. Uh, where'd he go? Ah, he's right there. Trade. Let's do it. You and me, let's trade. Okay, so most of the stuff I... I in fact, almost everything I have, you don't want. I can trade you components. Oh, I can trade you some of these, too. But I'm not going to. I want to keep them. You've got clitoral medicine. Yeah, that's not happening. You've got lots of components, and they're pretty cheap. I'm almost tempted to buy some of these. Oh, man. It kind of stinks. Should I get rid of one of the alpacas? No, I can't because they're almost... No, that's just... It's not an option. Wow, look at this. A simple prosthetic leg. And a kidney. I do need a prosthetic limb for... One of my colonists. That's a prosthophile, but... This isn't as awesome as I was hoping it would be. Hmm. What is this for? Uh, I think it's... Specific area. Oh, artistic. Duh. It's right there. Uh, yeah. That's a useless neuro trainer. I'm sorry, but... Not necessary. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna buy some components. And that's about it, since I can't really sell anything else except alpacas. Sadly. Alright, that's fine. And he picked up the weapon that I wanted to, so I think we're good. Cool. Alright, uh, what else do we want? Got more steel here, if we need it. I really don't want to open this up, though. If I can help it, so... I will be careful not to dig too far. Okay, so we did get in here. Uh, we're not carrying anything, but... Uh, I like the moods across the board. The moods are very good, so it means that... Uh, we're doing something, right? Uh, let's take a look at our alpacas. 65%, 59%. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, we still do not have this alpaca up here, though, do we? Did it leave? No, it's still there. Huh. So we failed three times. Man, I thought for sure he was going to knock this one out of the park, but he did not. He did not. There's lots of things here for us to shoot, but I want to. I don't want to hunt here until we've done something with this alpaca, because my luck, somebody will come up here and spray the alpaca with bullets, and that would make me sad. Does it have, uh, it doesn't say, does it? No. I was trying to figure out if I could see what its wool growing percent is, but I guess it doesn't actually kick in until it's tamed? I don't know. That may be how it works. Okay, well, I think one of the last things I'll do with this episode is take a look at the turret the turret situation so this is actually not bad like we could even put uh, a turret here that's pretty good coverage so people are definitely going to have to get close and what i want to do is put it in front of this pillar and then surround it with uh sandbags which should do the trick maybe like one and maybe two here and then what we'll do is we'll connect it to this power supply and then put a switch here and then we'll just turn the switch on when we need uh, when we need to smoke some raiders. And we do have enough components here to actually do this. So I think that is 
what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start out with one here. And then up here is a little bit more tricky because, like I said, there's going to be a lot of traffic coming from this direction. So I think if we go like here and here, uh, actually here and here maybe, because I want to be able to cover like any area where they might take cover. So I think this is good because it covers this and all this and lots of stuff over here. So let's go ahead and put one here. And then I think they'll move those automatically, but we'll put, uh, like I said, we'll cover them with sandbags. So they have that little extra bit of cover, and that means that I'm gonna have to move this deadfall trap, which is fine. Uh, move or deconstruct, since apparently we can't move it. Oh well, that's a thing, but. So we'll start with that, and then, uh, you know, hopefully that'll help us in our defensive posture, such that we don't uh, put ourselves needlessly in danger, like I did last time. Um, anyways, <laughs> I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll keep it going in the next episode, see what Cassandra has in store for us. Uh, not really anything too crazy so far, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching this episode, and join me next time.